All right, Omar Jordan, RIT Safety Solutions. I'm back again. What we're going to try to simulate is a very beat up, um, abused, um, screwed up hook, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it against the grinder. We're just braiding it. That's pretty rough. Okay, let's go outside and let's get it on some center block. Rough it up. It's pretty rough. But still, let's just go do it, okay? You can shut that up. Yeah. Okay, hey, listen, we're outside. Uh, we took this on the grinder. We, we really ground it up. You can see there's all kind of lines and, 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 and stuff in here. Uh, we're going to go a step further, and we're just going to really try to... Damn, it hurts. Um, okay, this is pretty extreme. If you see this on your system, please take it out of service. This is just to show a demonstration of how strong our webbing is. We've got sharp edges everywhere, so uh, we're going to go a step further. I'm going to go inside and grab a drill, and we're just going to gouge the heck out of the center. So we'll see what happens, okay? Okay, here we are again. Uh, we took this on a grinder. We took it up against a uh, center block. We beat it. We scratched it, and I'm going to take a drill and just try to... Uh Okay. All right. I think we've got to destroy this as much as we can. Uh, wow, it's real sharp. I don't know if you can see in there. We got real sharp little burrs and spurs, and um, so what I'd like to do now. I don't stop burning myself. Is uh, give me a piece of webbing right there, Mike. Spurs and spurs and movie Ben Hurs. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put our webbing through here, and I am just going to try to braid it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm pulling the table. Good exercise, too. Ooh. Remember the tummy thing? <laughs> okay, I'm too old for this. Okay, this is obviously a braided webbing. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get these little cattails, these little furring. Notice the difference between uh, non abraded and abraded. Okay, so what I'm going to do with all this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to sew it where it's all abraded. So I'll, I'll just take this loop here over to this machine.
and you can see, just look at my pants, you can see what a braided Kevlar looks like because when it's a, um, rubbed against something harder than it, it will really flake and, and you can actually see, you know, it's pretty well gouged. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to put it right in here. This is how we sew it. Sorry. No, sorry. You got a puddle here. Okay, so all I'm going to do is sit here and I'm going to sew it. We always put two stitches in it, even though we don't need to. Just a safety precaution. Okay, it didn't like that abrasion, did it? Okay, so that's fine, but it's okay. Okay, so now what I'd like to do We have abraded it that much. So what I'm going to do is where I, they were showing me where the, the break was. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to try to cut through this. Okay, now I've gone three quarters, easily three quarters of the, of the way through. This is a cut. This is abrasion. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it in the manner of function in which they did that at this fire department. Okay, let me just get rid of this tail. And we'll go out here and rig it and we'll test it with this abraded, with this gouged, uh, messed up, three at least three quarters of the way, if not more. That That's probably more. Yeah, it is. Okay? We're going to test it the way they had it at the fire department and we'll show you the results, okay? Okay, here we are. This is the Crosby hook that we took a grinder to cinder blocks two and a drill two. This is the webbing. The webbing, I cut three quarters of the way through right here. You can see that. This is rigged in a configuration wrapped around a stable object with two half inches the way the department explained in the pictures that we have. Now, what we're gonna do here, which is really beat up, I mean, this is very obvious stuff that would never be in service, ever. Even if you tied this, you would sit here and say, oh, wait, stop, we got you can't use that. So, regardless, we're still going to test this. We're going to see what happens. Uh, my guess is it's still going to hold the weight of a firefighter in full gear. So, we'll figure it out, and here we go. Oh, you should. Hang on. All right, you ready? Good. 20, 40, 100, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, 12, 2,000, 26, 31, 13, 3,113 pounds. Let's bring the camera over here, please. Let's, let's document this. Peak right there, 3,113 pounds. That's more than I thought it was going to do. This is some pretty incredible shit. Isn't it? <laughs> Keep that on there, just like that. Absolutely. Now, here. Are you still rolling? Yeah. All right. Um, obviously, we broke at the. Um, here's the cut. Very obvious. This is cut, and this is a break. This is all abraded from when we did the the, the back and forth through the uh, the you know the messed up Crosby hook, showing all these sharp ends and everything. Now. In my opinion, if this actually happened in a demonstration, because this hook is still attached, this hook would have followed the individual out the window, and my question is, is how far away did the hook land from the individual once they hit the ground? That's the best I can do, guys. I don't think there's any questions. 